When our gang producer and directors, Hal Roach and Robert McGowan, began searching for a replacement for outgoing cast member Joe Cobb in the fall of 1928, a nationwide contest was held. Cobb was known as the Husky member of the cast and he was about to age out of the cast at age 12 when the series was about to transition to adapt to the new age of sound. The Our Gang series, which was already popular by this time, was a series of comedic shorts which always featured a group of poor kids and their always entertaining and fun adventures. The entire franchise began in 1922 when the medium still used silent films as the original cast began to transition out and new talent was brought in and our gang changing of the guard began to happen. And that's where Norman Chaney made his first appearance. Born on October 18, 1914 in Cambridge, Maryland, Norman Chaney would enter the contest to replace the outgoing cast member, Joe Cobb. He would win. Chaney would be immediately offered a two-year contract and would be given the moniker Chubby, which is what he would be known as on the Our Gang shorts. Director Robert McGowan would say of Chaney, he adapted gracefully, and we all liked him. He was a nice fellow. Why, Chubby, I thought it was your turn to sit beside me today. I don't feel like sitting down. I'll ride on the running board if you don't mind. Oh, did your daddy tan you again? I'll say he did. Fluently. With the sound era in shorts just beginning, Chaney was able to use his charming personality, quick wit, and flawless delivery to become one of the most popular characters on the series. Chubby Chaney, who was Nathan Hale? Nathan Hale was an American patriot. That's right. In what manner did he give his life for his country? He was hung. No, he was hanged. Oh, hanged. Cheney, whose stay with the Our Gang was relatively short, made a profound impression on the series that still holds true with fans today. At his debut, Chaney was only 3 foot 11 and at the time weighed 113 pounds. He made his debut in only the second Our Gang entry that would feature sound, entitled Railroadin'. He would go on to appear in 19 Our Gang films over the course of the next two years. In one particularly memorable episode for the chubby character, he competed for the affection of his teacher, Miss Crabtree, and in that episode, he shyly asks her, Don't call me Norman, call me Chubsy Ubsy. Chaney was a natural on screen and is still being talked about almost 100 years later. And is she cranky? Boy, she sure has got a mean temperature. By early 1931, Chaney's height was increasing, but so was his weight, and at the end of his two year contract, he would not be renewed or offered another contract. At this time, there was another high turnover in the Our Gang cast. His final episode was entitled Fly My Kite. Afterwards, Chaney and his parents decided that he would end his short but profound acting career. I've heard my whole life about an Our Gang curse with many members having short lives or tragic occurrences. For Norman Chubby Chaney, the reality of a short life and a tragic occurrence would be all too real for him and his family. With his acting career over, Cheney would return to Baltimore, where we are today. Cheney would enroll in the public school system and was an excellent student. Cheney's situation was more than meets the eye. 
While it would be easy to pass judgment, facts do not line up with stereotypes in his case. Cheney had a normal diet and had regular exercise, but he continued to gain weight and he would never grow taller than four foot seven. He would eventually top 300 pounds. After medical evaluation, it was discovered that he suffered from a glandular ailment that wreaked havoc on his body. He would be sent to the famed hospital, Johns Hopkins, to receive treatment. Cheney's weight would drastically drop, going from more than 300 pounds down to 140 pounds. Unfortunately, the rapid weight loss would cause a massive strain on his body. This caused myocarditis, and on May 29, 1936, at the young age of 21, Norman Chubby Cheney died. Ironically, at the time of his death, the young actor known as Chubby weighed only 110 pounds. Of all of the regular Our Gang alumni, Norman Cheney was the first to pass away. Unfortunately, the sadness of Norman's story carried over into his death for several years after his passing. Cheney's hometown was Baltimore, Maryland, and we are standing in Baltimore Cemetery today. Sadly, Norman Cheney's grave was unmarked for 76 years as his mother, Carolyn Myers Cheney, could not afford a grave marker for herself or her son. Cheney was paid a salary for his work, but did not receive any royalties for the use of his work after his short acting career ended. This led to an online fundraising drive, and on November 10th, 2012, the graves of Norman Cheney and his mother, Carolyn Cheney, were properly marked. And now we are here in Baltimore Cemetery in Baltimore, Maryland, to pay our respects to beloved our gang cast member, Norman Chubby Cheney. You can feel the age and the history here in Baltimore Cemetery, and I can't help but wonder if Norman Cheney would have ever thought that someone would be here more than 85 years after his death to remember him and pay respects to him. Do any of you remember him or did any of you watch Our Gang? I would love to hear from you in the comments about Norman Cheney or your memories of watching the series. I'm going to leave links for all of you in my description for my website and Patreon. And another video of mine will be on the screen soon, so I ask that you please watch it. Join me on my journeys by clicking on that subscribe button. Once again, from Baltimore Cemetery in Baltimore, Maryland, I will see you again soon.